What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of So Much Hype. I'm your host, 8 Matt, and I'm joined by two of my very best friends, Charlie. Hey, guys. Glad to be here for the very first So Much Hype podcast. Whoop, whoop. And, of course, Kevin. Also known as Panels. Hello there. Guys, thank you for joining me for today. I'm excited to get this going. Hopefully you guys are as well. And I've got a very important question for you. What game or games are you currently playing? Kevin, why don't you take that one first, buddy? Uh, I actually just started up The Witcher 2 oh. um, a few days ago. And uh, that's kind of been because of uh, Witcher 3 just coming out recently. Um, I haven't gotten it yet, but... Uh, I kind of want to just replay it one more time and then just wait for the third one to get discounted. And yeah. Take that. Growing up with you, I know you have to play them in order. You can't just jump in to The Witcher 3. You've got to play one. you got to play two. Then you play three. There's no way he played one. I actually did play one. I have it on Steam right now. Gosh, okay. <laughs> I told and you. That, was that recently? That, that was actually not recently. Um, I don't think those probably... graphics hold up. Oh, no, they don't. A few months ago, I got the enhanced edition, so it wasn't all that bad. I mean, I got it for the story, and it was definitely worth it for sure. So, so how how far are, in are you on Witcher Two? Let's just we're gonna we'll jump down a little rabbit hole here. Yeah, well, uh, I actually beat it once already. This is my <laughs> second run. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so what you're telling me is we won't see you in The Witcher Three till like. You know, 2018. Well, no, my first, when I finished it the first time around, you know, it was a few months ago when I okay. first, so this is, I mean, like months after uh, my first run. But um, yeah, I'm probably about, uh, I want to say halfway in. I'm on the second chapter. All right. So, uh, if you, any of y'all played it, and I'm in the army camp. I, uh, I, I, spirits. Hmm. I, I think, you, oh, go ahead. No, you're good. I think I stopped after I fought the uh, octopus thing. The Karen? Yeah, yeah, or the Kraken or whatever hmm. out in the wilderness after that. And it was a great game. I just I don't know what happened. I guess something else came out. But uh, kind of got stuck on the back burner. I mean, it's it's a hard game. It's tough. And uh, another thing about me that you'll figure out is I like to give myself a big challenge. For games, I play the hardest difficulty all the time. Or it's just unforgiving. It just makes the game last longer. For me. Go big, so, go home. Yep, Witcher 2 is definitely one of the most, I want, well, not most, more difficult games I've played. Hmm. All right. I, I, I'll be honest, I haven't played any of the Witchers. Uh, I thought about getting the third one, but um, I'll segue. I, man, the new expansion for Destiny came out, and I'm hooked. I'm hooked again. It's bad. Um, no, but it's good. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Lot, lots more to uh, do, lots more to play. Um, lots more of in-game varieties happening. Um, not everyone looks the same, so that's nice. Uh, it's the, my my problems now are just small mechanical things. Like I do not have enough space to get all the loot. Like I just don't have enough space. But uh, Man, first world problems. First world problems for sure. But uh, I, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I mean, I, I know you guys give me a hard time about it, but I, man, I'm hooked to that game. What so you're I, saying I should reinstall it? It's worth it, man. Uh, I'll tell you right now, the uh, the weekend event, uh, Trials of Osiris, the three-on-three, one-life uh, with res for your teammates, it is nerve-wracking. Um, I'm pretty sure my blood pressure has spiked since I started playing it. Um, but it's fantastic. It's fun. There's a you know a special reward if you go 9-0. and um, and uh, yeah, you get to go. You get to go to Mercury, so you get a whole new place to check out. Um, I did not know that. That's yeah, it's cool. cool, man. I got a video up on it, my channel. So, go so check how it out. how many hours of single player content would you say would you say there is within the new expansion? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I, the story missions alone, I think there's like five or six of them. I think you can probably get through it in you know, two, probably two and a half hours, I would say, would be average. Um, and they're, they're actually really fun stories. They're actually really well laid out. They're not, you know, they don't drag. Um, but the actors, the voice actors, are talking to you throughout. 
So unlike Dinkobot or uh, what was her name, the other DLC character, Eris, um, they're kind of like helping you develop the story and you're actually part of it. So it's kind of nice, uh, nice change of pace. Um, in terms of that, the uh, I'm trying to think of other single player content. That That's really it for this uh, you, that you could do solo i guess you could do you could match make into prison of elders uh level 28 so it's like the the easy difficulty um but you need uh to get buddies to do the more difficult uh arenas that they uh dish out at you in the but I, let me no go ahead let me ask you this was there a horde mode added to this uh expansion yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, that's kind of what uh, arenas is. It's basically you get pit up against one of the four enemy factions, uh, and there is a random modifier that is added to the um, instance. So, for example, you could fight the fallen, and you could have arc damage or you know the arc burn. So everyone that has arc damage is going to do more to you. Um, so it's you know they all the fallen stuff uses arc so they literally can melt you but if you're using good arc weapons you can clear them out um the harder the difficulty you go so if you're doing the most challenging arena it's 30 level 35 uh there are you know there's a final boss and there are two modifiers so it's, those are some of them others can be like your shield is uh larger but doesn't replenish guardians melees do more damage um, when in the air you do more damage, uh, or while in the air you take more damage. Um, so there's like a, a handful of new modifiers. Uh, Thank there's you. generally three rounds to a, a, or three waves to a round. But what's nice about it is that they're not, you can't just go to the corner and like hide because there'll be activities such as like dismantling mines. So you've got to go over to an area, hold that area for, 10 seconds if you're by yourself and it reduces greatly depending on how many other guardians are there with you so if all three of you are there you can drop it in like two seconds but those areas are generally very unprotected so you know you got to draw fire things like that um so it's it's hectic it's uh you know different every time you do it um and cool. uh yeah it's fun and there, there are also uh bosses with little mini mechanics like there's a boss uh, that uh, he's a, a hive boss, and he will he'll say like you'll see text. He says like, oh he's enraging, and he's going to basically he turns the ground into lava. So you have to stay in the air, otherwise he damages you. So you have to jump around the map, um, or use if you're a warlock, you just float. Sounds like they're really really making something out of it. Yeah, since it's, launch. It, it's uh, this is the first time since now that with the new DLC that I felt overwhelmed. Like there's almost too much to do every week, and right. that's a good thing for me. It's like ah, oh, okay, I'm going to have to sacrifice. I'm not going to do all this stuff. I'm going to do this instead. This is where my rewards are more important to me. Well, so. you know, I saw that expansion come out, and uh, I'm sure Kevin can understand this as well. But I was like, you know, I yeah, I, I imagine. Matt Yancey is going to disappear off the face of the earth for a couple of weeks. And if we want to find him, he'll be on a YouTube channel somewhere. That's me. And uh, we can communicate uh, with him that way. But uh, you got it. I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Um, oh, yeah. What's the level cap again? Uh, the new level cap is 34, and it is much easier to get there. Much 34. easier. 34. And it originally at launch, it started at 25, correct? Uh, 30. Or 30. 30. 30, that's right. Okay, yeah. well, there they go. Um, that's kind of cool. Hopefully. Uh, the numbers are still going for them, and they can get a uh, sequel out. Yeah. Or all their expansions out without any troubles. Yeah, I think they actually, you know, this we'll end it here, but I think the last thing I read was they actually had greater numbers for this DLC than they did at Christmas, like activity. Wow, okay. Um, That's really good to hear then. Yeah, so People, it's it's booming. Well, I noticed the uh, WoW subscriptions uh, went down, so I'd like to think Destiny might have made that happen a little bit. <laughs> that and, maybe that and The Witcher. Um yeah part. but what yeah. about you charlie what are you playing so so let me tell you um the witcher 3 uh is on my radar i've uh, i've been playing it for probably about three or four hours three or four hours in okay um i picked it up i uh upgraded the computer a little bit i uh, got a new video card in there a 790 uh, ti nice. or sorry whoa sorry oh. uh, 970 ti oh there we go <laughs> okay 
So it came with the free copy of uh, the Batman game coming out, and then uh, The Witcher 3. Okay. Um, as you guys might find out uh, throughout this podcast, or if you already know me in person, I have a really hard time finishing games. I'm notorious for it. And Incredibly. if I do finish a game, that means it's really good. So um, That's true. <laughs> this yep. man, he has the vast, the biggest video game collection I, I've ever seen. Digital video collection. That's true. Video, <laughs> Digital video collection. But... He never finishes the game. He's like, hey, let's get this game and play it. And I'm like, yeah. And then I get hooked, and he's like, oh, I left that game behind. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a gift and a curse. So um, <laughs> some people smoke, some people drink, some people collect video games, never play them. Yeah. And uh, that's me, but that's okay. That's uh, I have right. plenty of brothers to log in and use my accounts and enjoy all the video games. That is true. Uh, that I purchased. So. That is true. Um, yeah, you know, Kevin, I was, I was looking at deals and stuff. I, are you playing on the computer? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Kev, yeah. they already have it as cheap as thirty dollars. Um, I can send you, a, I can send you a link and uh, have you pick that up because you don't want to miss out on this. Everybody's praising it, and there's a lot of good content there. Yeah, there you go. Pick uh, it up. That really opens it up. Shoot me the link too. I might get it. Yeah, yeah, guys, I'll get that to you at the end. But uh, yeah, so it's been a lot of uh, a little bit of The Witcher, um, you know. Mm-hmm. A little bit of Call of Duty. I noticed that uh, mm-hmm. ODST um, HD version came out today. Oh, really? Um, for so keep Xbox a lookout for that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. If anybody who purchased Master Chief, the uh, broken edition, um, yeah, at launch or a couple months after, uh, you'll get it for free. And if not, you can pick it up in the store for actually five dollars. So I'm sorry. H- five dollars? Okay. HD version of ODST uh, for five dollars I- and. Do not forget, there is no sprint button, so uh, we still live in that world. Yes. Uh, so just always be prepared for that when you're going to pick up an old Halo game. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that was that was a great game. and You know, we'll get to that topic later down the run of games coming out and not working. Right. But um, I just want to, you know, I, I got another question for you guys. Trying to get a sense uh, for everyone listening, what type of games you like, what you're interested in. Um, so I think I know Charlie's uh, in, most anticipated game of the year, but I'm gonna go ahead and ask him, what is it for? Tw- it's coming. It's got to come out this year, 2015. Yeah, yeah. So it's a it's a dead giveaway, but um, I think Metal Gear Solid, uh, yeah. uh, coming out here is gonna take up a lot of my time. Now they did release a uh, XCOM 2 uh, footage and trailer today, um, so I know. I'll be picking that up as well, and it looks really sick. There was a scene where, like, one of the bad guys is like a cobra, oh, like a yeah. soldier, soldier cobra. I don't know if you guys got to watch. I it I did yet. see it. It was awesome. So I don't know what the hell's going on there, but um, they released some screenshots, and the graphics look sick. And uh, I can just see my life being torn apart sometime in October, uh, and I guess September too, when Metal Gear comes out. So there's going to be some online features on the Metal Gear game. Where yeah. you guys run your own, your own, um, your own mother uh, base. Yeah, oil, oil, uh, whatever you call them, oil. Ref- what do you call those damn oil things? Oil refinery. Yeah, whichever flood out in the water and uh, move around. But you get to own that, and you can steal each other's uh, cargo and things like that, mm-hmm. and steal technology. And then uh, anything you pull from the game can go to your online uh, yeah. area. So That's there's awesome. lots of. Lots of cool stuff, and I'm hoping that kind of extends the game past the single-player campaign. Yeah, I'm with you. Kevin, what yeah. about you, man? I, and don't get me wrong. I think I have a feeling you're going to get hooked on that XCOM, too. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, as far as XCOM, I actually never finished the first one. Oh. I always got so frustrated by my guys missing a 95% success shot. Oh. Close point-blank range. And again, it kind of goes back to, you know, I do this to myself. I play the hardest difficulty, and it's just terrible. <laughs> but, I mean, I just I just hate it when it's too easy. Yeah. Anyway, uh, as far as the most anticipated game, um, it's actually uh, coming out pretty soon, right? Arkham Knight? Ooh. Yeah. I think that's oh, you're, you're a Batman guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I love the first two games, and I'm kind of... Seeing who the Arkham Knight is, he just looks like a, you know, total badass with that oh, yeah. suit metal armor. Yeah. So now, uh, you're supposed to be able to switch through uh, with uh, Nighthawk or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, 
if if y'all play any games, um, they have them as like DLC, and you get to play like as a uh, like say in this, in this Arkham City, you could play as Robin, play as Nightwing, uh, and who's a Catwoman. Yeah, you can play as those other players, people, but it wasn't through the story mode. It was through like you know just random combat and mini games and stuff, which is, I guess, a little lame, but, I mean, not bad, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if they have it like that, then, you know, no surprise, big whoop, but if they sure. could do a story, I mean, that'd be definitely interesting. Yeah, definitely. So. Well, this is yeah, by the cool. original guys, right? Not the guys who made the third one? Uh, I th think so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Art yeah Lord, so. I can even play that one. They they skipped making the last one so they can make this one. So I think they're gonna give it their best and uh, you know make sure to make it something worthwhile. I know the what the Batmobile's in it, and I've seen some footage of that that looks really sick. Yeah, you get to jump out of it while it's driving. Like, come on. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, that is pretty. That is pretty awesome. So I, you know, I, I'm also really excited for um, Metal Gear Solid 5. But to be a little different, I'm going to say I'm excited for uh, Star Wars Battlefield. Oh. Um, I, granted, I there's no way the gameplay footage they've shown me of in-game engine is what it's going to look like. There's just no way. It looks too good. That wasn't, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's just no way. Um, but uh, you know what? I, rem I have fond memories of playing Battlefield 2. Uh, I believe on my Xbox, and uh, I I had a, had a blast with it. Me and my brother just playing it. We just picked the Jedi map, and we just all played Jedi's, and it was great fun. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm a little bummed that I think they said there's no space combat, but I'm excited about it. I mean, I'm, I'm you know I'm excited that there's the free DLC that ties into the the new movie. I think that's a nice little um, you know offering up there. Um, so I. You know, I, I just yeah. hope it launches better than, uh, you know, DICE does a good job and takes care of it and doesn't mess it up like they've done the Battlefield launches. So, you know, Matt, let's say this. There's no space battles, but you can guarantee with it being uh, electronic arts that it will be some sort of a DLC. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, you're, pro you're probably right. True, true. It's like you wanted space battles. Fifty more dollars. So I don't know if you read any. Uh, information on it but from what i understand there's not going to be any classes um there were a few things going on i i, I don't quite something i need to look into but there were kind of some big changes from battlefield uh some things that you might be used to won't be there um, interesting I, yeah, you know so I, keep... i've been trying to avoid as much as possible i wanted to ca you know catch the trailer and stuff but um i at least like that it's going to it's staying true to the original three movies mm -hmm. um so I'll be I'll be okay. I, I would be okay if it was a, a mix of Battlefield gameplay style and and Star Wars with just with laser guns. I think I could be okay with that. So let's say this: Should we even purchase it in the first month, since it'll probably have horrible server problems like Battlefield Four did? I I don't know. You would hope that they may have uh, solved that problem. Well, I'm sure uh, you know we could pick it up at a discount before launch. Probably get around forty dollars, make it worth it, even if we can't play it. That's probably true, but um. Yeah, and you know we'll we'll do a little Star Wars stream or something like that, but yeah, very cool. You know, I want, wanted to mention real quick for yeah. those excited about Metal Gear. If mm -hmm. you haven't played the Ground Zeroes uh, game slash demo, oh, uh, it's going to be free uh, for PlayStation Plus members uh, starting tomorrow, um, from what I understand. So I don't know if you saw that list. I did. I did um, see that list. But that's probably the the big one of the group, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that's. I thought that was a really nice touch. Uh, I'm I'm a chump, and I already bought it. Uh, like I do every game that comes onto PlayStation Plus. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like I I swear I buy it, and then it's like next week it's like, and on PlayStation Plus we have every game Matt bought. It's like, why? Did they just yes. follow my wallet? We will learn. We will learn not to do this anymore. God. All right, guys. Well, I have one more question for you. And uh, this is a serious one. Oh. I'm, I'm bouncing back between two questions here. What is the... I, I, want a speci I want a story. What is the 
angriest moment you've had gaming? I, like, I, I want a specific story or a specific, it could be like a, a moment that happens in, you know, a set of video games, but I want to know what's the angriest moment you've ever had in video gaming. So I'm going to let Kevin take this one first since he likes to play every game on super hard yep. mode. Yep. Because uh, I, would, uh, I would hope and expect that he's got a really good one. Uh, I mean, you've already heard one, which would be pretty up there, which was, you know, I'm playing XCOM, and you have a guy who would make a guaranteed kill on someone, some alien that has one health, it's a 95% success rate shot, with a shotgun, and he misses, and it's where you got that same alien just rapes your whole team. Um, that That's that's one. Um, I'm going to cheat and give a, another one. Okay, but go for it. The second one would be Final Fantasy X. Uh, so I'm a big a completionist, you know. In, uh, I already know what this is. Yeah, yeah, you, you probably know. So I for just some this this is on the PS2 version. This is not even the <laughs> PS3 version that has the trophies. I I just like to do it just because I like to do everything. And one of them was getting the upgrade for Riku's ultimate weapon, which is uh, you got to go out to the Thunder Plains and dodge lightning strikes 200 times in a row. Without um, getting hit. Yeah, without getting hit. Like, in a row. If you get hit or, you know, just exit the zone, then you start back to zero. And... I remember locking myself up in my room that night. I worked the night shift, um, so I got home you know, at six in the morning, and you know, I turned that bad boy on, and I about took me till nine a.m. to get that thing. Uh, so about three hours. Um, yeah. How many times did you get to like a hundred and ninety and get hit? I think the highest I got and then had to restart was 180. Oh, God. And, oh, man, because it was seriously, you have, you cannot blink. And, I'm, I mean, I, I'm the, I have the slowest reflexes ever. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's just, oh, maybe there's a glare from the sun because, I don't know, my curtains are shitty. Oh, sorry, excuse the language. Um, but, yeah, most aggravating moment ever as you could uh very much tell and, and to be fair i think they actually uh nerf that i think you'll have to do a hundred strikes now now that's just unfair that makes me more upset because <laughs> did that and they're gonna make it easy easier for these other people uh, I, I could be wrong but i was looking at the trophy list because i picked it up for um the, the remastered version i think it said like one of the trophies was dodge a hundred lightning strikes i mean it's it's doable obviously I'm this is a living witness of that. Sure, sure. But I mean, like, it wasn't. That it sounds brutal. It yeah, sounds brutal. Little, that's a little upsetting. To me after. It's a cheap what about you, Charles? You got one? No, hold on. So you're saying Final Fantasy X? Yeah, I, you know, I try to go back and play that game. It did not age it uh, age well as as well as I thought. Yeah. Uh, I, I uh, Titus was the main character, right? Yeah. Yep. His uh, his voice acting should have been left back in, uh, I guess ninety nine or when did it come out two thousand three. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is pretty so, horrible right now. Yeah. Uh, hey guys, I, let's yeah. go play some Blitzball. Yeah. <laughs> I got it for the Vita and I got it for the PS three and. Oh, uh, you went all in. Yeah, it's uh, it only has like maybe fifteen hours of gameplay on it. Yeah, that's just because I was stuck in a car for a long time. So. Mm. <laughs> So uh, when you say frustrating habits um, or gaming moments, uh, mm -hmm. it's having a hard, I don't have a good one to come to mind, but I think one of the things I get really frustrated about uh, seeing how I never finish games is that uh, sometimes, you know, I'll come back around and try to finish it mm -hmm. um, and then play that game again. You know, maybe I quit because I got stuck on a hard spot. The most recent ones, maybe Killzone 3. Okay. Um, I just kind of got, I don't know tired of it and uh kind of stopped somewhere i go back and realize that i only had an hour left of gameplay you know one mm -hmm. hour and i could have finished it a while back and uh you know i can't tell how many times this has happened uh, where i pick it up again and then you know i'm only 
at some one time it was only 30 minutes away from completion. Mm. Um, and I have to sit there and relearn the controls uh, and all that stuff and uh, finish it up. But that would just kind of be a quick uh, example of uh, maybe a moment that's frustrated me is maybe oh. that kill zone three where I realized I only had an hour left and I just didn't get around to it till maybe two months, three months later. Oh, uh, in this example, I mean, when did the PS4 come out? Uh, um, a year you're talking ago. about Killzone Three, or are you the one the one for PS4? Uh, I'm sorry, Killzone Four. Oh, Shadowfall. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I actually only finished that two months ago. Oh, so, wow. and I bought it when it came out. So, <laughs> so that was over a year ago. I yeah. Think. Picked it, picked it up. Uh, you know, shooters are pretty quick to pick up. Yeah. And uh, finished it up, and uh, it wasn't worth finishing. Uh, no, as far as it, I'm it was. Yeah, the story was very odd. Um, <laughs> graphics were beautiful, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't worth finishing. Definitely. I, so I'll tell you this. Um, I, I definitely feel the pain of, you know, putting a game down and picking it back up later. Uh, I was playing, uh, Nino Kuni, which if you have not played that game, go play it. It's, it's beautiful. Stuff. It's fantastic. It's so I beat the game, but like Kevin, I like to, I like to complete things, especially like RPGs and things like that. So I pick it back up. And I was like, I don't even know what I was like, what was I going for? You know, it's a mass, it's a massive world. I can go anywhere now. I'm like, what was I hunting? Was I hunting animals? Was I collecting something? Was I doing side quests? I just like, what law? I forgot where everything was. Did I put it in the bank? Um, so coming back to RPGs is just like a nightmare. They need, I need someone to build a system that can say like, hey, this is what you're doing. Or like, give me a notepad in the game so I can like jot down like, this is what I'm doing. Well, uh, they have it where, like, uh, you know, the old Baldur's Gate Dungeons and Dragons, oh. they had, you know, the journal, so it recorded oh. all uh, your history, like, you know, the quest That's lines. perfect. That's you know, smart. You can find custom stuff, you know, personal stuff yourself. You know, they had something like that. Oh, God, that's fantastic. Yeah. That, that would be great. All right. Eh, my most aggravating or the angriest I've been in video games is also the same game I've been had the most joy at and kevin already knows what game this is i've literally friendships have broken <laughs> over this game it is dota 2 like yes, yes dota 2 i've literally lost friendships potentially over we got we got we became friends later on but we literally might have literally gotten into fist fights because it's someone so did not blink in and use an ultimate that's now that sounds crazy if you never played dota but it's not hard. It's not too complicated of a technique to do. But that game is so aggravating, especially compared to, like, shooters and other games that a lot of our friends are familiar with um, because of the way that you can see everything. Like, I can, you know, if someone gets killed around the corner on a shooter, I wasn't witnessing it, so I can't call them out, right? Well, playing, of course. Um, but, yeah, there's just times in Dota... Um, you, you know, it, whether it's a friend or whether it's just a, you know, a random pub, uh, that game has made me almost break keyboards. Uh, and I'm sure Kevin can relate because Kevin and I play a lot of Dota, or used to play a lot of Dota. Yeah. I have a, I punched a wall. Yeah. I think I've, I remember that. Yep. Um, I've done that. I've, uh, you know, screamed, yelled, and maybe been a little bit rude. Oh, well, yeah. Very rude. Um, feelings were hurt. You know that's that's why we're all best friends because at the end of the day, you know, we all love each other. So yeah, well, and uh, you know, I saw you know we wouldn't be friends if I didn't give Oh, them. oh yeah, definitely. Well, I I gotta say, I, you know, Charles has has been kind enough to try and put up with me to play Dota. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, halfway through, we'll get halfway through a match, and you know, classic Charles style of not finishing a game, he's gone to to Facebook. I'm like. Charlie, why aren't you moving? He's like, oh, sorry. I'm, st I'm alive again? Uh, I'm an alt-tab type of guy. And, you know, this, this leads me to a, a different conversation. What, you know, you could sit there and get angry at people with Dota. Oh, but uh, when you move over to a different world called, um, you know, Heroes of the Storm, I think life becomes a little more peaceful. You know, it, holes don't get punched into walls. It, it's um, true. People don't have to worry about, you know, uh, kills, you know, last kills, inventory. Yep. Um, and we should mention that tomorrow is actually the launch day of uh, Heroes of the Storm. That is true. Um, um, 
lots of new content. I think they just announced another map's coming out. Um, you have the Crusader class oh, I can't coming wait. into play. The Crusader's going to uh, be broken. I can already tell you. Yeah. yeah. I can already tell you. Yeah, but, uh, I think that's, that's, spe- that's a good point. Speaking of Heroes of the Storm, like, um, you, you should play with us sometimes, Charles. Uh, uh, Kevin and I and a bunch of the guys have been playing. Um, we've been we've been skilling them up. Um, yeah, so they're they're, like they're getting to the point where it sounds like you guys went what five and zero oh yesterday, Kevin. Uh, yesterday we were five and one. Five and one. Okay. I, I mean, yeah, this is not bashing them in any way. I mean, they're good, but uh, I basically have to play a warrior or an assassin every game. Cause oh sure. You know, they either can't kill or they uh, can't stay in the fight or something like that. So. The bloodlust is real. The bloodlust is real. Um, yeah, yeah. Sure. And, and, I mean, it, and it takes time. Like, it's even though they boiled it down, it is still a very complex game. It's a complex game type. There's so many things to know. I mean, even with the hero pool of whether 25 heroes, yeah, something tw- like that. 25 heroes with uh, four yeah, abilities. But- Plus, you know, all the neutral abilities. I mean, that, that's a lot to, you know, 4 times 25, boom. You already got a lot of combinations to understand and know how they work together. You've got multiple maps to learn. It's still a lot. Definitely not as much as Dota, but still a lot. Yeah, they, uh, they, they made it nice and dumbed it down and shortened games. That's my biggest thing. But mm-hmm. I do wish that they kept last hitting... Uh, or not kept, but implemented last hitting and uh, denies and um, inventory. Well, that wouldn't matter so much to me, but last hitting for sure. Um, I just, it's a little bit too easy, I feel like. Uh, it, it's, it, it is, it's very <laughs> interesting, right? Like, That's coming from Kevin, though. <laughs> right, this is coming from the guy who's got hard, <laughs> hardcore all the time. No, don't get I mean, me wrong. There are th- I'm not saying it's easy. That's not what I meant. I mean, it's, it's just like, it's it's just very easy to really swing the tide because I mean you could just sit there and auto attack a lane all day you know and survive and you'd be doing great for your team right so you know if they had it where you could actually put some skill into the you know last thing you get a little bit extra if you get the last hit it's not like I'm with you they need to do something even if it's not last hitting if they let me deny I would be okay if it was just denying Um, because that's the thing is there's no real way to starve out your uh, opponent, like technically. Yeah, for um, yeah, there's no real strong way to do that um, other than killing them. But even still, that's it's you know questionable. I, I would like to see something like that implemented, especially uh, if it's going to go more competitive. Um, but you know, it, it's uh, it's it's definitely a fun game. Um, I wonder if people will use that as a gateway game to games like Dota. Maybe. League. I mean, who knows? They're very different, but um, I think you could you can map uh, lots of similarities there. But, uh, guys, I think that's it for uh, all the questions I have today. Um, later on in our show, I'd like it if you guys could bring some topics if you come back. Um, And I might make you guys ask a question or two. But thanks again, Kevin, uh, Charles, for joining me. Um, You guys want to promote any YouTubes, tweets? Yeah, uh, let me add add something here. If if, uh, any of you guys uh, made it to the end of this podcast, um, we are going to give away uh, Company of Heroes 2 um, to... uh, again whoever makes it to the end of this podcast so there you go. Um, just leave a comment uh or just reach out to matt or myself and uh we'll get that code your way Boom. um but uh we're glad to have uh this going and uh look forward to more content down the road yeah thanks man I'm glad we got a giveaway that's exciting kevin you want to say anything you want to say goodbye uh no i guess we'll just uh, you'll be no. here for me no i don't want to say goodbye guys thanks for stopping by thank you for everyone listening like uh, wiggins said we're glad to have you and uh yeah shoot us a comment or message and we'll uh we'll get you that code later guys boom we did it we did it here we go what's going on what (laughs) stop don't laugh (laughs)
Okay. All right. What's going What's on? What's going every- on, guys? It's <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> Kevin's just busy playing Boom Beach in the background. Yeah, I swear to God, I was going to. I knew. <laughs>